They've got a really, really cool peekaboo bridge, but this pond basically wraps around the entire house here in the backyard. It starts over here, we've got a skimmer box, we've got a deep stream, shallow pond in through here, we've got a small, small wetland filter over there with the waterfalls that he added with Roy Baggio, one of our service techs a couple years back, but then this is gonna be the area that we're gonna enlarge and make deeper. So we're gonna have to demo all of this. We're gonna seam a 20 by 30 foot piece of liner on there in order to compensate for the depth, the width of the pond, but also the wetland filter that's going to sit back up into here. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. What is up everybody? Chris and Juan out here. We are at a incredible project that we built, what, five years ago? Five years ago. So we are out here. We are going to be adding some wetland filtration and making the pond deeper. So we're basically doing a renovation slash addition project on this already incredible pond that we did. Yes. Let's go. Do it. <laughs> all right, so Juan's gonna go ahead and start grabbing all the tools. We dropped all the equipment off last night. We've got our enclosed trailer. We've got a pallet of product here. It's just he and I today, the rock has already been delivered. Here's our access. We've got, gosh, I don't know, about five tons of gravel. We've got our bog gravel over here. And then we've got, of course, our decorative red flint. We have about eight and a half to nine tons of boulders. We've got a mix of sizes here. We've got some large 12 to 18 granites, nothing bigger than that. And then of course we have all of our four to eight inch cobbles. Let me go ahead and we'll walk around to the backyard. Here's our access. The neighbor has been gracious enough to allow us to use the side yard oh we got we got She's super excited for us to be building this pond. Of course, we have Carrie and Kay. Here is the pond that they have already done us the favor of draining. We are going to be ripping the pond apart from here, taking out the bio falls and ripping it apart there, bringing it back over to here. We're gonna make a three foot deep section and then an enormous wetland filter over there. We're gonna have to pull out a couple of these plants, which Carrie has already done us the favor, pulling out a lot of this stuff. You can see there's a lot of little divots and everything else around here. So we are super excited. We're gonna battle a little bit of hydrostatic pressure but once i think we get the stuff off of here we'll go ahead and throw a clean out pump down in the bottom pump all that water down they've got a really really cool peekaboo bridge but this pond basically wraps around the entire house here in the backyard it starts over here we've got a skimmer box we've got a deep stream shallow pond in through here we've got a small small wetland filter over there with the waterfalls that he added with roy baggio one of our service techs a couple years back but then this is going to be the area that we're going to enlarge and make deeper so we're going to have to demo all of this we're gonna seam a 20 by 30 foot piece of liner on there in order to compensate for the depth, the width of the pond, but also the wetland filter that's going to sit back up into here. So we've got to pull these four plants out, go ahead and get our clean slate, and then Juan and I will continue to go ahead and start to demo all of this area in through here and get it ready for seaming. So the idea today is get everything demoed. Hopefully we can get the seam done. We may have a little rain in the forecast later in the day, but that's pretty typical with most of our videos, as you guys have seen lately. So we've got our work cut out for us. Then the next day, the following day, and the day after that, we hope to have a full squad out here and knock this thing out. So you guys ready to get going? Let's go. Let's film these kind of going into the bucket, you know what I'm saying? and then so filling that bucket with all the boulders around and then dumping them into the dingo back behind me. Juan's able to make a nice pile. We've got our plastic mats out to protect the lawn as best we can. We've got all the boulders and hand-sized cobbles out of here. Now it's time to pull all this liner up, push all that gravel down to the bottom, get that stuff collected, get that out of there. You can see we've got some hydrostatic pressure happening. So we've got some groundwater underneath the liner pushing and bubbling that liner up, which has made it kind of a 
challenge, but nothing too terrible as we're demoing this bond. When we're doing this with the machine, you wanna make sure that when you're using the thumb or the claw, which is that part of the bucket right there, and you're kind of gripping these rocks and grabbing these rocks, you wanna make sure you don't get the existing liner because we are going to end up reusing this and seaming a big piece onto it. So just take good care and make sure you take the time that you're not gonna put any undo holes in the liner and then not be able to find them later so we are very 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 careful when demoing ponds when we are going to be adding on to existing liner and using the previous liner so next thing we're going to do is we're going to detach the liner from the biofalls here and go ahead and get this liner pulled all the way back that way as we pull up all that gravel will go down to the bottom we can get that stuff centralized and easy to get in and out of there and then we are going to get everything cleaned off inspect the liner and make sure that there are no holes from demo and then go ahead and pull it back and lay out where our addition is going to go our deep section and go ahead and start digging that and then we'll get our liner seamed after that pumping out the groundwater. This is what was causing that hydrostatic pressure. I had this entire shelf filled about 30 seconds ago. That's what was causing that liner to bubble and give that water bed look. So we're gonna go ahead and pump as much of this stuff out as we can. We're gonna dig down a little bit further below the fabric to get all that stuff out of there, which will make our job so much easier when digging. We'll let this stuff dry out, so. What do you got over there? Are you raiding their fruit garden, their strawberry garden, their strawberry patch? Let me yeah. see. What do they look like? Ooh, so good, so good. All right, back at it. Excavation has started. Juan is down in the deep section. This is where we're gonna go a little over three feet and really expand the pond. We're gonna come out about another four feet, basically right where this track is here. Wetland filter is gonna be set up over there. So I will give you the bird's eye view once we lay that out. But at first I wanna get the pond dug. It's looking a little gray out there. So we're gonna try and beat some raindrops over here. But uh, Juan's gonna finish up that bottom section. Then we'll dig this next section, which will be about a 18 inch deep shelf we're gonna work in a couple two foot sections just for those various elevations and pond or water depth in the pond but we really want to open this thing up and expand the home for the resident fish so that's what we're going for Juan's doing a great job down there it's just two of us I think we're making really good progress so let us know what you think in the comments below I think we're moving pretty good got us but we got pretty stinking far check that out our pond gosh addition i guess you would call it is dug we've got a few crumbs left to clean up but we've got we got rain and it's going to be coming for about the next hour hour and a half and we are kind of close to the end of the day so we're just gonna go ahead and wrap it for the weekend but i love this area so this right here is at two feet and we sloped it down to just over three feet we're at about 38 inches there an enormous two foot section above that and then we've got about 16 inches of water up here and then we're going to do a little beach area and then the wetland filter is going to go over where the excavator sits and then we'll have our waterfall come in through there the waterfall height will be a little bit taller than the last time but not much but it's going to be over just even further it was right there now we're going to move it over and then that way we really get that push water we're going to do some circulation jets we we'll do some really really cool stuff fish cave on this project anyways we are going to cut it there and yeah we will return and the sun will be shining i promise you and it might be 20 degrees warmer from what the weatherman says but who can trust a weatherman these days, honestly? Till then, we'll see ya. We are back. The weekend is now over. We have a much different backdrop, as you can see today, as we did on Friday for just Juan and myself. Also, you'll see we have some more bodies out here. We've got Dan, we've got, who else do we have over here? Dalton. We got Lamar and Dalton from Texas. Okay, so here, let's do it this way. So we got Dalton down here. What's going on, guys? And then we have Lamar. Hey. And you guys are from Texas. Yes, is Dallas-Fort Worth area? Yes, sir. What's the name of your company? Prairie Creek Ponds. Prairie Creek Ponds. So they are 
here down here for the week. As you guys know, the entire season we are gonna have certified Aquascape contractors come work alongside us, help us get projects done. So this is week two, and we also have some other faces around here. We've got Joseph and Sam, yeah, right? Joseph and Sam from Zaquata Gardens. Zaquata Gardens, let me get that right there. Pow right pow, okay, okay. So Joseph, you guys are from where in New York? We're in Rockland County. Upstate, okay, Yeah. upstate New York? Yeah. Upstate, yeah. Cool, you guys excited? Super excited, right for this week. We got some great weather, great, great weather. We've got a couple more days on this project. This morning we are going to start, you can see we've already got the pond underlayment down there. We're gonna fold the original pond liner back, get our buckets and boards set up, and we're gonna go ahead and start seaming this thing. We'll be the first order of business for the day. You can see them, they're just kind of cleaning up some of the crumbs, that kind of stuff. Fold this back, get everything prepped and ready to go, and we are going to cruise today. We've got a 20 by 30 liner we're gonna be adding onto this thing. The 20 foot piece will go this way, and the 30 foot will go back that way. We wanna make sure that we have enough to compensate for our wetland that will sit over there. So, Juan, you ready to roll today, bud? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Come here and tell me. Ready to go, bro. All right, dude. <laughs> We're gonna make some serious headway in progress today. So we'll get this seam done and then start rocking. Two liners joined to each other, almost there. Now we have to prime and single side six inch cover tape running all the way along the seam there. And then we can start rocking in this point. It is day three out here. We made exceptional progress yesterday. Today, we are going to finish up this wetland filter and put this project to bed. So you see Dan in there. We got a majority of it excavated out last night. That's what that rectangular hole is. That's for our aqua box. Now what they're working on is digging the trench for the snorkel centipede system that will go underneath the aqua box. So once we get that done, get everything cleaned up, you guys know the drill. It's fabric, liner fabric, then our components. Then we've got four to eight inch cobbles, then our different layers of gravel and then we'll go ahead and dress it up and make it mm. sexy for you guys we may or may not end up incorporating an additional feature in the top of the wetland filter we brought along a 32 inch green slate patio pond to add some additional interest we're gonna see how it works we may or may not end up using it but we brought it just in case so we're gonna get that dug lined components in and get that wetland filter roughed in so that we can go ahead and finish this project today it's gonna be a hot one so we're gonna make sure to drink plenty of water you guys do the same and stay cool alongside with us. almost all the way roughed in with the cobbles. We've got about another four wheelbarrows that we're gonna put in there. And then we are going to bring in our gravel, which is in those super sacks. We'll just lift those up in with the machine. As you've seen before, we just kind of slit the bottom and then let it all spill out, right? So we'll get the gravel in and then we'll come up here and start working on our edges, building this waterfalls out. It's turned out awesome. We're gonna end up doing an overlap over here. They got pretty tight with the liner that we had. So we ended up saving it and then just bringing in a larger 20 by 25 liner just to give us plenty of play in through here. But uh, we are well on our way and it's freaking hot. So you guys stay cool out there, okay? Okay. rock over here water is running turned out absolutely incredible the bowl looks awesome i can't wait to come back in a few days once the plants get replanted things start looking gorgeous more gorgeous than they already are but that water will clear up so you guys can get a really good idea um, as to how deep we ended up going with this pond and to see some of the rock work there was a lot of small rock you see us do a lot of machine sized stuff and we did have the machine out here and some of them we definitely needed the machine to place but it's a lot of smaller rock and which is great because then everybody can do it and everybody can be rolling at once so it makes it very, very efficient. So, God, it's hot. It's about 186 degrees out here, but we pushed through lunch, managed to hit our deadline today, and we're gonna hit the road, and I will be back for the end of this episode and show you the incredible project that we just created. Oh, 
I should have got the camera on you earlier. Yeah, girl. We are back out here at this incredible addition project. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Mama? Pond has cleared up dramatically from what it was a short time ago. This is that original section. We've got a mini wetland filter over here, long kind of deep stream. We've got a, another peekaboo bridge, which you're so all too familiar with seeing. See the fish are loving life. Very, very active water, crystal clear. And then this is that addition section. Remember we pulled the pond apart, starting about here and then ran our seam all the way across, seamed on our additional liner, and then went all the way up back into the wetland. We took the pond out about another seven feet. One of the bigger bells and whistles on this is that we ended up going three and a half feet down in this section down into here. And then, of course, we've got the wetland filter over here that just turned out incredible. We've got just a Babbly Brook type waterfall in through here. We've got some circulation jets that are normally on right now, but we turned them off so that you can see all the way to the bottom. We've got a couple fish caves down there for those large fish. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, actually a high fin shark all the way down in the center right there, which is so awesome because that's not something we normally see in a lot of our ponds. So what a pleasant surprise. We've got lights in here. We ended up adding a patio pond all the way up here to add a little bit more of a vertical element. We had these really cool, unique pieces of cedar, driftwood in here. There's our snorkel cap right there. And then of course we have a pump vault that is not normally found inside of a wetland filter. But what we did was, is we ended up throwing a pump down in here and then ran a line inside the liner over here, runs along this edge. And that's what feeds the circulation jets that are sitting over here that helps push that water across the pond. There's some incredible lilies that are placed along that backside, which as they mature, and the season goes, we'll end up consuming an enormous portion of the sheet water back in through there. And it will just totally change the shape of that sheet water and the way the pond looks. And of course, you're going to get the beautiful blooms that they provide. And then Carrie has done such an amazing job already planting all of the specimen plants all the way throughout and surrounding the water feature itself. It's almost like a specimen garden with all of the softscape, which as you guys know, is one of my favorite parts about any water feature feature is the softscape. It's really what ties everything back together. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's really what ties everything back together. Yeah, see? She knows. It really transforms the space. We've got this gravel beach entrance. Come here. Come here. You don't like it? You don't like the gravel? Come here. That girl. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? He's like, I don't like the gravel. Yeah. Yeah. A cool little entrance just changes this area up. You see Carrie's ran some boulders along the perimeter here to help keep the mulch outside of the gravel and have a very clear delineation into this edge of the pond. What is this? We got an azalea up here in the foreground, some irises and some coral bells. Love the different colors. Just everything is such a pop of color around the water feature. Just such a, such a great compliment. But very simple, elegant waterfalls, nothing overpowering, nothing crashing. I just love how in certain areas you can't tell where the land stops and the water begins. I love the bridge that we originally did in through here. And then it steps you down into this great shady area from this Crimson King Maple. Just gorgeous, gorgeous landscape all back in through here. You've got a mix of blue spruces, junipers. You've got, oh my gosh, Grolo sumacs. You've got sedums. You've got wygelia. You've Jeez. got peonies. You've got irises. There's a bird's nest spruce. You've got a hydrangea. But all, of course, you've got your blue chiffon, Rosa Sharon's back in here that are going to be incredible as they mature. You can just see how and why it's such a successful garden just with all the plants. And then, of course, you've got the beautiful waterfall feature. Again, that's that's just so fitting with the space and calming, soothing and relaxing. So, so nice. Here's those circulation jets. You can see how much they agitate the water, which is also excellent for predator control or help prevent predation of your fish. But these will also keep a hole open in the ice, but it also is pushing that water back through the main channel as it comes around into that cove where the skimmer and all the pumps are housed. And of course, you've got your elegant little waterfalls with the custom driftwood, the patio pond, which will look incredible as that wetland is planted the patio pond can be planted just looks so so nice just gorgeous and what a beautiful setting back here in the beautiful far far west suburbs that you would never know that this is back here The 
so many different areas to enjoy this pond. Such a fun time, great customers to work for. Always a blessing to be back here, adding and tweaking the water feature. And they're clearly living the aquascape lifestyle. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on how this is put together, leave us a comment in the comment section below. Drop us a line. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you also enjoyed the video, because we like to be able to see that stuff. If you haven't already, subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Hit the little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of the fresh new content that we are coming out with every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So you can see more projects like this and more on our channel. Till next time, we're signing out and we'll see you later. Thanks again.